Hello friends, welcome to IBPS guide. So today is day 4 simplification. So our mission is SBI Pure 2019. Okay, so we'll be dealing with simplification. So before moving on, I want you to learn some tips and tricks which I'm going to give you. You have to understand and practice both mass. What is both mass? I'll be showing you. And you have to learn the multiplication table from 1 to 30. You have to memorize the squares, cubes of numbers and percentage of numbers. Squares by squares I mean 1 to 30 cube I mean 1 to 15 and percentage table I have shown you in the previous videos if you have not watched those previous videos please watch that first then you have to learn the tricks of finding the multiplication square root and cube root okay then you have to practice you have to develop a habit of doing calculation in your mind okay so both mass what is both mass both mass stands for B stands for bracket that is this bracket this curly bracket and this square bracket okay and O means order that is which is inside square some equation is there then you need to solve it first like 5 plus 2 if it is there in an equation then you have to solve this first similarly for square suppose 5 plus 7 square is there and plus 5 is there then you have to solve this first and one more thing off also comes in this method only suppose 4 plus 5 of 3 you have to do this calculation first that is 5 3 15 value is 19 okay then you have to do divide or multiply that is uh, after doing that then you have to do divide and multiplication first you have to do divide then multiplication so this would be line between this first divide then multiplication then you have to do addition and in the end you can do subtraction okay so what I mean by all these things, I'll show you with an example. So it might seem very big to you, but if you apply both mass, the solution will be in a very so you'll get the solution in a very short time. So what is the multiplication? So what is the first according to both mass rule? B O D M A S bracket. So you have to solve bracket first. So inside bracket is also there. So we'll go for that first. So you have to inside bracket there is an equation again you have to apply both mass b o d m a s if you see there is no bracket there is no off but there is divide so you have to do division first no need to do in calculation in paper you can do it in your mind only 24 divided by 8 is 3 11 into 3 is 33 33 into 3 is 99 so 99 minus 69 is 0 30 okay this is 30 to the power 2 okay now we have 1800 divided by 900 okay this goes for two times so here we'll have entire value is 2 okay then we have 240 divided by 8 into 512 divided by 4 plus half of 2 so then we have off so off is nothing but simplified version of that is off cross cross means multiplication so you can put cross here that is multiplication divide can multi divide this to that is one now again if you see this simplified value is 248 into 512 divided by 4 plus 1 so next you have to do division of this two so according to both mass division comes then then 240 divided by 8 is 30 into 512 divided by 4 plus 1 again we have a division sign here so we'll be doing that first so that would be 1 times so again 1 that is 2 that is 3 123 plus 1 so the value will be getting is 123 into 3 so again there is also a method no need to do like this there will be a 0 in the end because there is 30 then we have to multiply it with 3 that is 9 6 3 plus 1 that is 3 6 9 1 will be your value so hope you have understood this problem so next we move on to this problem so before solving this problem I want you to solve it on your own please pause the video and try to solve the video on your own so I'll show you the solution how it will be so the problem is this much divided by x plus 3 so we have to find the value of x instead of question mark you can assume it to be x so we have to find the value of x so according to both mass rule there is no such number that we can divide here so we'll be transferring that 3 that side that will be 4800 divided by 4x that is 960 
now all you can do is cancel this two then 48 if you see it goes for 10 times it is for two times and one times five times that is square root of x is equal to 5 x is 25 okay so the option will be b so let us move on to next example this so write the question 2882 423 divided by 3 okay in most of the exam they will give you such a denominator which will divide the numerator usually so if you see 11 it will be divided by 11 how we know this suppose if you see this goes for 2 times 68 6 times 2 times okay now again this goes for 1 4 1 141 210 minus 262 plus 141 so 141 210 153351 now if you subtract 262 from here we will get 9 8 89 do we have a solution option yes so option will be 89 so let us move on to next example so all we have to do is so find the value of this i have shown you in previous videos how to find the square root of a number okay so let us take the first example 1849 so you have to do is separate this into two take the last two digit that is in which square of which number we get 49 so if you see 7 square is 49 so keep 7 here now again 18 lies between the square of which two number if you see it will lie between 4 square and 5 square it is 16 and 25 40 and 50 okay so the base is 50 now this is the extra we will subtract it from here we will get 43 so the value of this is 43 now if you see from the table 484 is nothing but the square root of 22 we don't even have to solve it so that is why I have told you to remember that table now let us move on to this that is square root of 2704 okay now if you see 27 lies between the square of 5 and 6 if you multiply by 10 this will be 50 then this will be 60 now 4 square of 2 is 4 okay so the base is 50 now if you add 2 it will be 52 why we add because we want the number between 50 and 60 if you subtract 2 then it will be 48 so if you add 2 it will be 52 so the value will be 52 so now you have to do addition and subtraction you can do anyway so if you subtract add 43 and 2 it will be 45 45 plus 20 would be 45 55 65 so 65 minus 52 so again 5 minus 2 is 3 6 minus 5 is 1 so answer is C so let us move on to next example that is 17 2 by 3 so this is 17 this is a mixed number so don't mul don't think it to be a multiplication so this is a mixed fraction like this is actually 17 2 by 3 so first you have to do is write the fraction value of this 15 3 j is 17 3 j is 51 we can write 53 by 3 that is 2 by 3 okay then off we have here sorry this is not 2 by 3 this off 180 then plus 1 by 4 off 480 so we will be doing off first because according to the bond mass rule bracket is not there so we will be solving off so bracket so off will be this much 120 so you can write it as 53 by 3 off 180 plus 120 okay now off you can remove off and you can write it as cross multiplication of this that is 120 that is 60 okay now 53 into 60 plus 120 now 53 into 6 is how much so don't have to solve it you can do it in your brain only 6 3 j 8 1 carry 6 5 the 30 31 8 0 now if you add 120 that would be 300 double zero so the value would be d okay so we are moving on to next problem this problem then 80 percent you can write it as 80 by 100 we are writing by 18 by 100 because we have 0 0 here else you can if you write it in fraction form it will nothing by 4 by 5 so no need to write in simplified form you can write it here because 0 0 will be getting cancelled of 2400 minus 16 percent 16 percent is nothing by 16 by 100 of of 7200 so you can do any of this two first so we'll be solving this one 00 goes here 00 goes here 
24 into 8 would be 32 3 carry 16 19 okay 1 9 2 0 0 is the value now if you see here 0 0 gets here cancel 0 0 gets here cancel now 72 into 16 you can solve it as solve you solve so near the sim faster method of multi multiplication that is 6 into 2 is 12 1 comes here 35 42 42 plus 2 44 plus 1 45 5 4 carry 1 7 is 7 11 okay we have here 1 1 5 2 all right so let me check if i made a mistake 6 into 2 12 1 carry 42 42 plus 2 44 45 5 4 carry 1 7 7 11 1 1 5 2 now if you subtract it from here we'll see we are having 8 here 4 here 0 here and 8 here and 0 here so we have made some mistake let me see where so this is 8 then we have 4 then we have 0 then 8 then 1 now if you see here after this subtraction we are getting the value to be 18048 but we don't have any such value here in the option so we'll be taking none of this so hope you have understood all this concept thank you for watching and give it a like and do share with your friends if you enjoyed the video